Hello, I'm Stormy Omardian. I'm glad you've chosen to take your first step in setting up a regular exercise program for yourself. Whether you're a beginner or beginning again after a time of not exercising, you'll find the next half hour very therapeutic and rejuvenating. This workout begins with exercise for the eyes and ends with exercise for the back. These exercises were given to me by doctors. I have done them for years and found them to be extremely beneficial. I feel, as these doctors do, that these particular exercises can and should be done daily, for life, in order to keep the eyes and back strengthened and protected. They also relieve stress and tension in those areas and may help to prevent certain problems that could develop. In between those therapeutic exercises, we will firm and tone the arms, waist, hips, thighs, buttocks, and abdomen, and most importantly, do aerobic exercises for the heart and lungs. There are two things I want you to remember to do throughout all the exercises. One is to keep breathing deeply. One of the main reasons to exercise is to get oxygen into the bloodstream and to every organ in the body in order to cleanse them of impurities. So don't hold your breath. The second important thing to remember is to keep your stomach pulled in tight. You do this by imagining that you are pulling your belly button in to touch your spine. When you do that, even though we may be exercising another body part, it will at the same time be working to strengthen the abdominal muscles, which in turn will strengthen the back. Now you should be wearing loose-fitting, comfortable clothes. A sweatshirt and sweatpants are great, and unless you're working on a thickly carpeted area, you do need to have good supportive shoes. Also, if you're working on a hard floor, use an exercise mat or several bath towels or a folded blanket for the floor work. Now all you'll need for this workout is what I call a posture stick. It could be anything that is round, lightweight, three to four feet long, one to two inches in diameter. For example, a broomstick or mop handle, preferably without the broom or mop, an extension of a vacuum cleaner, a tube of wrapping paper works very well, or a wooden dowel that can be bought from any lumber yard as we will be using today. If you absolutely don't have anything like what I've just described, Use an imaginary posture stick. Just pretend that you have a straight pole in your hands when we are doing those exercises. Whatever you do in life, you'll be better at it if you exercise regularly, eat healthful food, drink a lot of pure water, and get plenty of rest daily. No one will take the time to see that you do all this but you. You owe it to yourself and those who care about you to take steps toward greater health. I care about you. And if you're ready, let's take the first step toward your personal fitness together. Most people carry a lot of tension in the face, jaw, neck, and shoulders. You can't have proper body alignment if there's chronic stress in that area. These opening exercises are intended to relieve that tension. Begin standing, looking straight ahead. This is your center position. Now keep your head in place and just move your eyes only. Look up as far as you can. Back to center. Look right as far as you can. Back to center. Now look down as far as you can. Keep your chin lifted up. Back to center. Look left as far as you can. Back to center. Again, look up as far as you can. Back to center. Look right. Eye muscles are very important. Back to center, so don't ever neglect them. Look down. Try to do this exercise often. Back to center. Look left as far as you can. Back to center. Use your facial muscles. Smile and say a big E. Now a big O, again a big E, O, E. This wakes up the face and gets the circulation o. moving. Last time, E, O. Now loosen the neck by turning your head slowly to the right as far as you're able. Back to center. Now left as far as you are able. Back to center. Again, right, keep the shoulders down, back to center, last time left, back to center. Now let's loosen the shoulders, begin circling the right shoulder back, 
Again, slowly. We're not working muscles as much as we're releasing tension. Now circle the left shoulder back slowly. This should feel good. Again. One last time. Now alternate one shoulder at a time, starting right. And left. Again, right. Left. Feel the tension leaving your shoulders. Right. Big circles. Left. Right. Last time, left. Now bring your shoulders forward as far as you can. Now up to your ears as far as you can. Now back as far as you can. Now relax them and shake them out. Let's begin the breathing and warm-up section. Stand feet shoulder distance apart, arms down at your sides. Slowly inhale and stretch your straight arms up to the ceiling. Ready and inhale and stretch. Reach your hands out as far as you can. Clasp them over your head and hold. Exhale, release your arms slowly. Again, inhale and stretch. Hold. Exhale, release. Again, inhale and stretch. Clasp your hands together. Lean a couple of inches to the right and hold. Keep facing forward. Come back to center. Exhale, release the arms down. Again, inhale and stretch. Clasp your hands. Stretch to the left and hold. Come back to center. Exhale and release the arms down slowly. Keep standing with your feet shoulder distance apart, knees relaxed, stomach pulled in tight. We're going to stretch up one arm at a time, pushing the palm of the hand toward the ceiling. Begin with the right arm for eight counts. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other side, now left. Two, three, four. To warm up the upper torso, try to create the greatest distance between the hip bone and the lowest rib. Three, change arms, and left. Feel the stretch. Now in twos, and right, two, left, two, again, right, last time, left. Arms straight out at the side, palms facing the floor. Make a tight fist, flip the palms up to the ceiling and back down to the floor. Ready, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now leave the palms down and circle the arms back. Ready, back, 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 back. Keep breathing in deeply through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Breathing this way keeps tension from building in the neck and jaw. Now palms up, ready to circle forward and forward, 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 forward. These exercises warm up and tone all the arm muscles, but you should feel it mainly in the deltoid and triceps. Now turn your palms toward the back wall and push back and back, 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 back. This helps to firm the large muscle at the back of the upper arm. Release the arms, shake them out, and pick up your posture stick. We're going to work on your posture and some waist exercises. Stand with feet a little wider than shoulder distance apart, toes slightly turned out, knees slightly bent. Tuck your bottom under as you pull your belly button in toward the spine. Keep the bottom half of your body like this throughout all the waist exercises. Hold your posture stick, imaginary or real, out in front of you at shoulder level. Arms a little wider than shoulder width. Extend them up overhead and inhale. Exhale and lower the pole in back of the head so that it barely touches the shoulders near the neck. We're going to twist back and forth. Ready, and twist right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Twisting warms up the lower back. The posture stick reminds you not to sag, but to keep the back lifted. Ready to stop and stop. Now we're going to go side to side, beginning right. Ready, right, left, right, left, right, left keep going do this exercise as if you were between two panes of glass no twisting lift the stick up place it in front hands in the center pull it toward you until your elbows touch the pole 
chest lifted up, stomach pulled and tight, bottom tucked under. This position allows you to really work the waist. Now we're going to twist back and forth, beginning right. Ready? And right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Left. Now let's do a double twist to the right. Ready? Right. Two. Left. Two. Right. Two. Left. Two. Keep going. Bring the stick up. Place it on your shoulders. Ready for little squats down and up. Ready, and down, 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 down. Keep the toes lifted up and keep your stomach in tight. Now let's slow it down so you can go lower. Ready, and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Don't come up all the way, keep it smooth. You should feel this in the buttocks and the large muscle in the front of the thigh called the quadricep. Feet together, right leg in back of you, press the heel to the floor. Ready, and down, 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 down. These little presses will warm up the calf muscle. Feet together, left leg back, and down, 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 down. Again, feet together, right leg back, and down, 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 down. Feet together, left leg back, and down, 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 down. Raise the stick up, bring it down in front of you at waist level. Feet together, lift alternating knees up to touch the stick. Ready, and up, 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 up. Now bring the knee across the body to touch the opposite hand. And up. Now you're done with your posture stick, so set it aside where you won't step on it, and let's continue the aerobic workout. Lift up your heels one at a time, beginning left, and up, change, up, change, up, change, up. Let's warm up those ankles and get the heart and circulation going. Now twice as fast, and up, 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 up. It's very important to be sure to keep breathing deeply. One of the main reasons to exercise is to get oxygen into the bloodstream and to every muscle and organ. This cleanses the body of impurities and warms the muscles for exercise. Now walk in place and right, left, right, left. Now keep this walk going. I'm not going to surprise you with any tricky footwork, so as long as you can walk, you can do this section with no problem. Let's add the arms. Start with hands on shoulders. Lift them up. Back to shoulders. Ready to do it faster? And up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Can you keep the arms going just like this and walk four steps forward and four steps back? Let's try it. Ready? And walk forward. Two, three, four, back. Two, three, four, forward. Two, three, four, back. Two, three, four. You're doing great. Keep going. Now we're going to add a little variation to the arm movement. Every other time, the arms are going to go out in front. Let me show you what I mean. Up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Join me now. And up and out. It's good to have enough air to be able to carry on a conversation. That means you're not exceeding your aerobic training pace. Walk forward, two, three, four. Walk back, two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. If this is too hard for you, just keep your arms going up and down and walk in place. Good coordination is learned with practice, so take it a step at a time. And forward, two, three, four, and back. One last time. Forward, two, three, four, and back. Another last time. Forward, two, three, four, and back. Now walk in place and step, 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 step. Lift your knees a little higher now. We're going to march. Ready, right, left, right, left, and march. Two, three, four, march. Two, three, four, march.
Marching is so good for you. Everyone should do a little marching each day. Get your friends and family up and get them marching too. They'll love you for it. Now it's very important to march with a smile on your face. Otherwise, it looks like you're going to war. Remember, you're marching in a victory parade. Now let's add some arms. Bring one elbow up at a time. Ready and up, 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 up. Keeping your arms moving at shoulder level or higher is very important in the aerobic section. It keeps the circulation moving properly in the upper half of the body. Now, are you ready to march up for four and back for four? Good, let's do it. Ready to go forward and forward, two, three, four, and back, two, three, four, forward, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. I see those knees falling, lift them high. Remember, we're marching. Stop the arms. Now we're going to add a kick on the fourth beat, just like this. Forward, two, three, and kick, back, two, three, and kick, now forward, two, three, and kick. Ready to join me now? Put your hands on your shoulders, and when you kick, lift your hands to the ceiling. Ready? And forward, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift, forward, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift, forward, two, three, lift, back, two, three, lift. Keep smiling. And forward, two, three, lift, back, two, three, last time. Stop and stop. Let's change the pace. We're going to do an easy step touch. Step right with the right foot, touch with the left. Step left with the left foot, and touch with the right. Right foot ready, and step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. That's it. Now let the arms swing opposite the body. And swing, swing, swing. Swing, swing. Now take bigger steps and step, touch, step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. Swing your arms wider, really swing. Get your arms way up. Now bring it back down. Make your steps a little smaller, swings a little smaller. Ready to stop and stop. Now this next exercise is very good for the heart and the leg muscles too, and it helps you to learn good balance. Put your arms straight out to the side. Beginning with the right leg, lead with the heel and take a giant step forward. Allow the back knee to bend as far down as you are comfortable. Return to the original position. Now left leg, step out, knee bent. Don't let the knee touch the floor and come back to a standing position. Let's try it a little faster now, beginning with the right foot. Ready, and right, and return. Left, return, right, return, left, return. Keep going. Remember to keep breathing. Keeping the movement fluid will improve your balance. It may help to turn the feet out slightly if you find you're too wobbly. Last time, walk in place beginning right and right, left, right, left. Slow the body down now to prepare for the floor exercises. Stand still, take a deep breath in and stretch your straight arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, release. If you don't have a comfortable carpet to lay on, now's the time to get your mat. Lay down on your back, knees up, feet flat, hands behind the head, ready to raise and lower the pelvic area. Remember to keep the back flat on the floor as you lift and squeeze the buttock muscles as tight as you can. Ready to lift, and lift and lower, lift and lower, squeeze, release, squeeze, release. This will firm the buttock muscles.
Now put your right foot on your left knee, place your left hand on your waist, and use it to make sure that you are not lifting anything above the waist off the floor. Ready to lift? And lift and lower, lift and lower. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Time to change legs. Put your right foot back on the floor and place your left foot on your right knee. Switch hands also, putting the right hand on the waist and the left hand in back of your head. Now ready to lift. And lift and lower. Lift and lower. Squeeze, release. Squeeze, release. Squeeze. 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 Last time, squeeze. Release your back down. Bring both knees up, cross your feet at the ankles, place both hands behind your head and comfortably lift it off the floor. Elbows pointing toward the knees, raise your knees up to meet the elbows. Ready? And lift, release, lift, release, lift, release, lift, release. Place your right hand in front for balance, ready to lift the right leg four times with the toe pointed and four times with the foot flexed. Point your toe, ready to lift, and lift and down, lift and down, lift and down, ready to flex and flex and down, lift, lift, ready to point and point and down, lift, lift. Ready to flex and flex and down. Lift. Lift. Last time, lift and stop. Now lift the leg halfway up. Lift it all the way up. Come down halfway. Come down all the way. Ready for double lifts? And up and up. The tendency down, is to roll back down, so that you are using up, the stronger muscles up, in the front of the thigh. Down, to down. correct this, Keep the hand reaching forward, then press the hip forward and feel it on the outside of the leg. And up, up, down, down, up, up, last time down and stop. Sit up, turn over on the other side, lay flat, hand in front for balance, ready to lift the right leg four times with a toe pointed. Ready, and lift and down, lift and down, lift and down, ready to flex and flex and down, lift, lift, ready to point and point and down, lift, lift, ready to flex and flex and down, lift, lift, last time lift and stop. Now lift the leg halfway up, lift it all the way up, come down halfway, come down all the way. Ready for double lifts. And up, and up, down, down, up, up, down, down, keep going. Turn over on your hands and knees, come down comfortably on your elbows. Beginning with the right leg, raise the knee and point the toe to the ceiling. This is your high point. Come down halfway, this is your halfway point. All the way down is your low point. We're going to lift halfway up, high point, halfway down, low point. Ready for double lifts? And up, up, down.
Next time up, up, and down, and stop. Now do the same thing with a straight leg. Point your toe out back, ready for double lifts. And up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Last time, up, up, down, and stop. Now we're going to do the same sequence on the left leg. Remember to keep the knee bent and point the toe to the ceiling. Ready for double lifts? Same thing with a straight leg. Point your toe to the back. Ready for double lifts. Ready and up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. And up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Last time, up, up, down, and stop. Bring the left knee into your chest and stretch the opposite leg back and hold. This stretches the muscles we've just worked. Change legs, bring the right leg in, stretch out the left leg and hold. Come up on your hands and knees for back exercises. Arch your back like a cat and slowly lower your head. Tuck your chin into your chest. Tighten your abdominal muscles and hold this position. Now slowly let your back sag. Raise your head until you're looking straight ahead and hold. Return to the arched position. Back up, head down, abdominal muscles tight and hold. Relax, let your back sag, look straight ahead. One more time, back up, head down, abdominal muscles tight, and hold. Relax. Now lay flat on your back for another exercise for the back. Bring the right knee to the chest, pull it firmly towards you, and hold. This is a very simple exercise, but like the last back exercise we did, the benefits are great especially for the lower back and hip sockets. Okay, release the leg and lay it flat. Now bring the left leg up to the chest, pull it firmly towards you and hold. This also stimulates the intestines like a massage for the intestinal tract. Release the leg and lay it flat. Now bring both knees into the chest and hug them tightly. Release the legs, lay them flat, and reach up overhead and stretch away from the body. At the same time, flex the feet and stretch in the opposite direction. Make yourself as long as you can. Now release and relax. Come up slowly to a standing position. Chest up, shoulders relaxed down. Now keeping your stomach pulled in tight against the spine, Bend your knees and bend forward slowly to face the ground. Inhale. As you exhale, come down even further toward the floor. Release the arms and the head to hang limp. Only if you are able, straighten your legs. Otherwise, stay in this bent knee position. In this limp position, nod your head yes a few times. Shake your head no a few times. Again, nod your head yes. Shake your head no. Bend your knees and curl up slowly to a standing position. One last time, inhale and stretch up. Exhale, release the arms down and be glad. You've done something good for yourself today.